Tom, congratulations. We, you just announced that you've signed a letter of agreement to acquire up to 70% interest in a prospective Brazilian rare earths ionic clay project. How about we start there? Tracy, yes, we APIA announced the, uh, uh, an agreement to uh, um, acquire, potentially acquire an, uh, uh, an ionic clay uh, uh, prospective uh, 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 property project in Brazil. One of our directors brought this project to us. Uh, it's from a group that um, uh, is well uh, known in Brazil in, in exploration. And uh, we thought that this is a project that we couldn't pass. Uh, because we see uh, an opportunity. Well, you know, part of the reason I brought it up and wanted to do this last minute interview was because we're getting a lot of feedback on social media with what about Alsace Lake? And I keep telling everybody, Alsace Lake is is your major, the priority uh, objective for Appia management. Is that not correct? Uh, Tracy, I would like to assure our shareholders and our investors that uh, uh, Apia has not changed focus in, from the, our main focus is still the Alsace Lake project. We have a very extensive exploration program for this year. Nothing has changed. We are uh, excited about the project and we're going to do the Alsace Lake project and we're moving forward with our exploration and our, our, our plans. Uh, this uh, Ionic Clay project in Brazil uh, it was brought to us uh, uh, by one of our directors. We were in this business of the critical rare earth uh, uh, exploration. Uh, and uh, we, we can tell when, when something might be uh, exciting. So we thought this is a very exciting project. It's an opportunity we couldn't pass. And, and we're going to do our due diligence. But the two, uh, this project would not uh, uh, sidetrack APIA from the Ossizek uh, uh, project, we, it, it won't interfere uh, one with the other. We have different people. If we get, finally get involved in Brazil, it's different people that we're gonna be using. Uh, uh, and uh, in terms of Ossis, uh, we're, we're you're moving along as, as planned before. We don't need to raise any financing uh, for the Brazilian project and, and um, the Alsace Lake project is financed, so we're, we're looking at both opportunities because we think it, it could be a, uh, a, a great opportunity for APN and investors. So, Tom, I think the what shareholders potentially will be interested in hearing is about your ongoing relationship with uh, SRC and, of course, Alsace Lake. How does how is that relationship going? Uh, Tracy, uh, uh, APIA is using SRC for all our um, uh, assay results, uh, metallurgical studies. SRC is building their, their processing uh, rare earth pro, uh, plan in, in Saskatoon that apparently would be ready uh, sometime next year. And uh, there will be processing monazite and Osses Lake. Uh, it has monazite. So we have an excellent relationship and, and that goes well. Well, Tom, thank you so much for the update. And for anyone in, interested in more information on Appia Rare Earths and Uranium, please go to their website. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tracy.